This is Lesson 7.6, Similarity Transformations. Your objectives are to identify similarity transformations and to verify similarity after a similarity transformation. A dilation is a transformation that enlarges or reduces the original figure proportionally. The scale factor of a dilation is k, and that's the ratio of a length on the image to a corresponding length on the pre-image. The image is the new figure. The pre-image is the original figure. If k is greater than 1, then it got bigger. It's an enlargement. If k is between 0 and 1, it's a reduction and got smaller. The scale factor can be found by using a new side length over an old side length. It's always new over old. A side length of the image over a side length of the pre-image. Determine whether the dilation from A to B is an enlargement or a reduction and then find the scale factor of the dilation. If you're going from A to B, then A is the old one and B is the new one. So that means A is the pre-image, B is the image. For number one, from A to B, it got bigger, so that's an enlargement. To find the scale factor, do a new side length over an old side length. If you have a horizontal or vertical segment, Use those since you can just count the length easily. On B, we have a horizontal side there that's 6 units long. On A, it matches the horizontal side which is 3 units long. New over old will be 6 over 3, which is 2. So the scale factor is 2. It fits the rule because if the scale factor is greater than 1, it's an enlargement, and our scale factor is 2, which is greater than 1. Number 2. From A to B, it got smaller, so that's a reduction. Now find the scale factor, which is a new length over an old length. We do have horizontal segments that we can use. A new length on B is 3, and that corresponds with an old length on A, which is 6. New over old is 3 over 6, which is half. So the scale factor is half. When the scale factor is between 0 and 1, it's a reduction. So that fits, because half is between 0 and 1. Number 4. From A to B, it got smaller, so it's a reduction. For the scale factor, we'll do a new length over an old length. We don't have any horizontals or verticals here, so we'll have to use a diagonal. When you use the diagonals, you have choices with how to find those lengths. You could use the distance formula, or you could do the Pythagorean theorem by creating right triangles. It's your choice how you want to do that. To find that length on B, I can make a right triangle. To find that corresponding length on A, I can make that right triangle. The side on B is the hypotenuse, and the side I need on A is also the hypotenuse. So we can do the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuses on each one of those and then find the scale factor. For the side on B, the two legs are of lengths 1 and 2, so 1 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. When I work that out, C squared is 5, so C is the square root of 5. For the side on A, the legs of that right triangle 
are of length 2 and 4. So 2 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. c is always the hypotenuse. When you work that out, c squared is 20. So when you square root each side, c is the square root of 20. To do new over old for the scale factor, that would be the square root of 5 over the square root of 20. And I can reduce that. 5 and 20 are both divisible by 5, so that's the square root of 1 over the square root of 4. And now I know those square roots. The square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. So the scale factor is 1 half. It's a reduction, and the scale factor is 1 half. Just remember, when you're finding side lengths that are diagonal, you can do the distance formula, or you can make right triangles where those diagonals are the hypotenuse, and do the Pythagorean theorem. It's your choice how you want to do that. Since the scale factor was between 0 and 1, it was a reduction. And remember, whenever the scale factor is greater than 1, it's an enlargement. Verify similarity. You can verify that a dilation produces a similar figure by comparing the ratios of all corresponding sides. For triangles, you can also use side angle side similarity. Graph the original figure and its dilated image, then verify that the dilation is a similarity transformation. For number one, I can plot these points and draw the triangles. For triangle ABC, use the coordinates they give you. And we'll see if that's similar to triangle DEF using those coordinates. To check side lengths, if you have horizontal and vertical sides, those are good places to start. And we do. The horizontal side on the big triangle is segment AC. That's the first and last point, which would correspond with the first and last point of the other triangle, which is DF. Those links are 6 and 3, and that reduces to 2. We also have vertical sides. On the big triangle, segment BC, which matches on the small triangle segment EF. BC is 8, EF is 5. But 2 is not equal to 8 fifths. So those sides are not proportional, which means that these triangles are not similar. If it turned out that those two sides were proportional, we would check the third pair of sides, and that could have given us SSS for triangles. Or, I could have tried for SAS and used those two included angles of the sides I just did, and those are both right angles, so the angles would have matched up there. Just make sure you check the side links they have to be proportional. The angle pairs have to be congruent. This one was a no, but if it had worked out and the side links were proportional, we would have had a yes. So remember, when you dilate a figure, if it gets bigger, it's an enlargement, and if it gets smaller, it's a reduction. The scale factor is a new side length divided by an old side length. If the scale factor is bigger than 1, it's an enlargement, and if it's between 0 and 1, it's a reduction. To verify similarity, graph the figures and find the side lengths. Sometimes you need to do the distance formula. If you have a diagonal, you might have to do the distance formula to find the side lengths. Make sure the side lengths are proportional, 
and make sure the angle measures are congruent. If they are, then it is similar, and if it's not, then it's not. Side lengths have to be proportional, angle measures have to be congruent.